people who move the human race forward, people who are highly successful have a different mindset. They do not think like others. In fact, if they thought like others, they wouldn't be moving the human race forward. I believe, raise your hand if you're an entrepreneur or you're looking to be an entrepreneur. Raise your hand. Great. Woo! Good marketing. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> I believe that we entrepreneurs are born different. I believe that while the rest of the population is perfectly willing to not take any risks, we are cut from a different cloth. We don't believe in living a life with no meaning or fulfillment. Anyone up for a soul-sucking existence? <laughs> okay. That means we go out and we do things differently than other people. It begins with a different mindset, and you are wired with that mindset. We know this. But part of that means that others don't really get us. Do they? Do they? No. Some people say, why would you quit your secure corporate job to do your own thing? It's because we are here to move the human race forward. And I call this sharing your brownies. Now, some of you know this story because you've been with me for a few years. And then there are some people in this room who have never heard of sharing your brownies. Tell it, right? Tell it. So one day, I got a divine download. Anybody ever get divine downloads? OK, you're my people. You're my people. One day, I got this divine download, and it said, Tell them to share their brownies. Imagine that you are in your kitchen and that you have friends and family in the other room. And imagine that you're baking up a tray of brownies. It's in the oven. Ooh, you know when the brownies are just about to come out of the oven and the hit of aroma all of a sudden is perceptible to everyone? Yes? This is where I need you to nod and make me feel special. Yes? OK, good. <laughs> Great. Great, I'll make you feel special, OK? Deal? Yeah? So the hit of chocolate is in the air, and somebody comes in and says, what are you doing in here? It smells so good. And imagine that your response is, get out of here. This is none of your business. <laughs> OK. Take the brownies out of the oven. You put them on a tray. You cut them up in perfect squares. Put them on a plate, pick up the plate. Instead of going out to share your brownies with your friends and family, no, no. You go in the other direction. You sit down at the kitchen table, and you begin to eat all of the brownies by yourself for the express purpose of not sharing them with anybody else. What does that make you? Raise your hand. Raise your hand. Selfish. Selfish. Great. What else? Stingy. Exactly. Fat. Yes. <laughs> We're going to go with the selfish and stingy. <laughs> I believe that we are all born here with a purpose a divine purpose that no one else has in the exact same way. Anybody else believe this? Amen. Yes. We, you, are here to do something to move the human race forward. It's humbling sometimes, but you are here to create a ripple effect in the world. And because you and I are entrepreneurs, that, those brownies actually create the ripple effect. We change lives one client at a time. Turn to the person next to you and say, we change lives one client at a time. <laughs> so if you work with one client, you change one person's life and the lives of the people around them. When you work with 10 clients, you change 10 lives 
and the lives of the people around them. But here's what happens. Much like throwing a rock in the lake, it creates ripple effects that you don't really see ending. Right? Much like the butterfly effect, you don't really know what one action will reverberate to cause in another part of the world. Deep breath in. And so, I believe that it's really important, crucial in fact, to be very careful about our actions and to make them big. Because if you're going to play, you might as well play big anyway, right? And I believe that it's our duty to play big. 